Hello everybody and welcome back for another week of more New World News. This week I have a very special uh, presentation. We are looking at IGN's exclusive first look at War Mode in New World. So what we're going to do is basically we're just going to go through the footage, we're going to go over what we already know, we're gonna, and we're going to go see what, if anything's changed from literally last week's video, where I did a whole dive on PvP. Go check it out. Tell me if I'm missing anything through this. And we're going to point out some really cool things that are also moving around in this gameplay footage. So, um, I will be stopping periodically through this. And also, before we get started, why not hit that sub button? Why not smash that like button if you like this content and want to see more? And if you want to go find me live, come over to the Twitch, the Box and Doxin Twitch TV. Links will all be in the description below. And let's get started without any further ado. Yeah, so war right, mode is how we determine who owns a territory. So, uh, when one uh, company owns a territory, another can declare war on it, and then they fight it out in a 30-minute battle. Uh, as an attacker, your goal is to first capture the three points around the fort. Uh, once those are captured, then you breach the walls, uh, and then go in and try to capture the flag. So, as a defender, we... Alright, alright, let's, let's stop that real quick. Let's, let's, really quick. So, in my last video, my PvP video, I said an hour. I was wrong, apparently. But I thought I got that from that guy himself. And I, if I can find the video, I'm going to put it in now. Once that's scheduled, you have this one hour intense PvP battle. This is a th All right. So, so you have 30 minutes, which is better. You know, it's, it's, a quicker, it's a quicker scenario. You have to capture three points outside of the fort, attack the gate, get, in, get inside the, um, get inside the, uh, yeah, get inside, get inside and capture the, the flag. That's what it is. All right, let's continue. We don't like Dave and his team doing that. So what we're going to try to do is prevent them from taking those capture points by setting up our there's own There's a look at the, the party system right there. projects and various other things. But we want to keep those up, and we want to stop oh, them. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's go back. Inventory. The inventory right there. Ooh, looks like for some pretty big inventory spots. They, some with a lot of purple. Looks like heavy armor, medium armor, and there's a couple of satchels right there. Potions, fire traps. He's using a sword, the hammer, and a staff, it looks like. Is that a he looks like a, maybe a healing staff? I don't know. It's green and two blues. She okay, shields. Alright, it's gonna be it's gonna take a little bit to get into this um setup, that's for sure. But okay. Continue. Various other things. But we wanna keep those up and we wanna stop them at all costs from taking those points. Because if they take those points, then they'll be able to batter down our gates and then eventually try to take the fort itself. Their Look at the skills. Weapons. Bottom That's right. Do more of the structural damage. Where are you at? Let's see. I Sword. am at the very top of the structure. I see you. I'm dropping down. And so anytime okay, we want to get a musket, yeah. Gate, nice. Uh, when, it's, when we're ready to go. What's, what's that? Hang on, hang on. Stop, 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 stop. Go back, go back. Look at that right there. That looks like a grenade, maybe? So with a musket, I get, you can have a grenade ability, and it looks like sharp sharpshoot and then eye point, or the eye. Very interesting to see what all these attacks are. They're level 60, as you can see, bottom left, so they, they've stacked their characters pretty well. <laughs> all right, I'm, I'm still following you. I'm still following you. Right. Oh, that's a healing staff. Hang on. So if you look bottom right, heal, that's a healing staff. You can tell by the, you know, the, the plus marks. So healing staffs are confirmed. Definitely need our heal healers up front. Oh, we lost B. Alright, we got B. I'm gonna tell the army. Looks like a fire staff, now. maybe? So that means they can go through our main gate, right? Not yet. They need to take more control points. Alright, head towards C. Top right. We have battle tokens, we have siege weapons, and we have siege parts. So I'm guessing siege parts are what you're gonna use to buy your siege weapons in this. And then also, your battle tokens will use to buy other gear, which is good. Which is good. And then obviously siege weapons. I'm not sure if that means how it says zero out of ten. So I'm not sure if that's what you're gonna use. Like how many you can have on the field at one time, maybe. We're looking strong at C. A's looking pretty clear as well. They're too quiet though. I don't like it. Top right. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, hey. Look we'll, we'll here. All right. So they're bu he's buying traps. So you can use again. You're using those siege points or battle tokens. To buy to buy stuff. Let's go back a little bit and take a deep, a, a quick look at that. <laughs> All right. All right. So you have 
Inferno Traps, Inferno Traps, Azeroth Arrows, Turret Ammo Kit, Cleansing Elixir, Healing Elixir, Powder Keg, which we've seen before, Azeroth Bullets, Mana Elixir, and Haste Elixir. Uh, I'm gonna buy some and it does look like he's at, is he at, um, oh, he's just at a rally point. Okay, so you can buy, buy him right out on the field, which is good. Okay, I see them coming to Ooh, some musket gameplay. Nice. So, you can't build directly in this circle, but you can build around it. They're, they're, you know, keep, take note of that. You, can, you can't build inside the oh, circle. Right. Mel, good Mel. They're, Hand, they're we'll, let's down. go back again. I'm, I'm going to do this a lot. You can't build directly Watch in this the circle, arrows come down right it. here. You see all those arrows? So if, oh, if we shoot right, one, it'll do good a bunch Mel. of them. That's really cool. Down. That's a cool ability. Can't block forever. Noted. <laughs> oh no! I'm at death's door. Hang on, hang on. Stop that right, right there, right there. Let's, let's stop that. Let's look at this really quick. So, yeah, something about an upgrade available. I'm not worried about that. Right, so they kill him. Going back. At death's door. Oh no! You can still be revived, which is cool, or you can give up. So your you your teammates actually have a, a chance to bring you back, which is awesome. So let's. Let's remember that. That that's gonna be a cool thing in, if they keep that in the game. Yeah, this is all oh, um, alpha there. footage. Oh, he's down. What are you... oh, shit. That's some that that, that looks like. Uh... Uh, Hang on. So we just saw the firestorm from the fire the fire uh, staff, and now it looks like we're seeing like a dome from a healing. Is that just a healing circle, or is that gonna is that gonna stop players from coming in, or stop projectiles from coming in? Uh, that'll be cool. that'll be good because you can use that inside the circle to capture the point with your team, while defending yourself from the siege artillery. So that'll be a cool, direct opposite. So it's not too unbalanced. Look at all those siege weapons. See if you can get up close by those weapons up top. Gotcha. Okay, so. We're gonna take a uh, watch. This is gonna be the powder keg. They're gonna use powder kegs. It looks like they're gonna use them to blow up these uh, siege weapons that have been implanted. Which look, yeah, it looks like you can be plant and plant anywhere, so that's good. Okay. Oh, that just that just took both those out. Ooh, may, maybe those were damaged heavily before. But that is a good way to get rid of those. So that's that. Hopefully they keep that. that I like that because you, you, that way it, it's a lot harder for you to put the keg down, but it does a lot more damage. So more risk, more reward because you have a lot of chance to get attacked in that time. So you see, there's more than one gate, which is cool. So you you have a different area uh, lanes to be able to attack from. So if you want to focus all your your um, forces on one gate, you can do that, or you can do them separate throughout five different gates. It looks like. Which looks really good. All right, continue. All right, get to those supply generators. Oh, supply yeah, generators. We're get back inside. Well, we'll on them. So now we just have to put damage on the gate. Yep, put damage on the gate. And once this is clear, next time around, I'll bring up a team and see if they'll want to help me uh, quicker. Okay, so we, we've seen this. This is the shop. So we've seen this before in photos and gameplay. So this is where you can get all your equipment, essentially. And also with your tokens, buy some Inferno Traps. And talk about we can buy traps, yeah. Cool. So set up Inferno Traps next to, like, the, the entrance. They're all just trying to... Oh, my gosh. The side of our castle has so many Inferno Traps. I love it. I gotta add one. <laughs> That's more. awesome. Oh. Ooh, you can see this in action. Wow, 400 damage. That did a good load of damage. I wonder how fast it takes to recharge, though. He ain't happy. Victory! So that's the end screen for the victory side. So now they've switched sides, and they've switched up weapons, too. So he's got arrows instead of a staff, I think. Yeah.
those hammers too. Those, look, those hammers seem to do a ton of damage. So I think I think that's gonna be a big thing in the, the PVPs. Those hammers. Hey, hang on, stop, 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 stop. Okay, okay. If you look down here, you see the tomahawk. We have not seen that yet in this gameplay. We've seen in past gameplay on one one v one. So maybe the tomahawk's not that great in uh in um, multiplayer PVP. So just let's let's keep that in mind going forward. So I, I haven't seen many people use that. And now we see the sword and shield gameplay. Oh, 2,000, 13,000. Nice, good hits. I'm assuming that's good hits for this game. But that seemed like it did a lot of damage. You get to see some more siege weapon gameplay. Very exciting. It's making me very excited to play this game. Oh, again, the, the flamethrower again. That's a really cool thing. I wonder if you, I hope you can move while you're doing that. Because if you're stuck, you're going to be in a, in a world hurt. Quickly, let's look at the emotes. So you got cheer, dance, dice. Oh, you can do dice. Nice. Flex, go here. No, no. Sit, thumbs up, wave. So far. There's plenty of room for more. So for those of you who like to gloat, do not have a tea bag emote or a tea bag emotion yet. Yet. That was irony. But you can see like ganging up on people. I, it doesn't it didn't look like you could get past the other players. So it, it looks like your your character has control over space in the world which is cool people can't just pass through you this could be cool because you make a you can make a, a wall with a, a bunch of shield and sword guys at your gate so let's think think, think about think about these all, all the other options that are possible with stuff like that that's a really cool thing so let's let's finish this off and then we'll do my final thoughts all right so that was the the war mode that was that, that they gave us two good goes at war mode. Now I took a couple notes. I'm just going to look at them here while we talk to you. I talk to you. So obviously 30, 30 minutes around. Three points around the fort to capture before you can attack the gates which were five gate well, gates on the walls and then the inner flag you had to capture. So you have to fight in the circle to capture the points. Clear, Obviously clear out the uh, enemy faction. Then also when you die there's a last chance that your teammates can revive you, which is a cool, cool thing. Also, um, tokens. So I was wrong about this. Battle tokens are both for should be for both invasions and PvP wars. Um, siege parts, siege weapons. I'm not sure what those do, but it, it looked like you had zero out of ten for the siege w weapons, and then maybe that's how many you can have on the field at a single time. I'm not sure. But it'll be cool to see what actually happens to that. Um, siege parts, we'll probably be able to use those to get b better siege weapons, I'm hoping, or upgrade them maybe. Because it said upgrades available. That was another thing I saw, which would be really cool to dig into later. But from this uh, gameplay footage, again, um, the best way to take out those siege weapons is to start to get over, very, over, overpowered powder kegs, it looks like. So, yeah. Um, also, the. Weapons look good. We did not see any tomahawks or small axe play, large axe play, two hand swords. Uh, what else did I see? You got to see lot, plenty of fire staff, plenty of healing staff, which is a, a new one, a new actual ability we haven't seen. And again, that healing staff has that dome bubble ability, it looks like, which I believe stops projectiles from coming in at you, which would be a really cool thing to stop from siege weapons. I'm not sure how what the limited number of damage to stop is but that that seems like a good direct counterbalance to the siege weapons i don't know what do you guys think did you guys like this gameplay go check it out for yourself be all the, in the full length if you haven't gone checked it out um let me know comment down below we will talk about this over on my twitch streams whenever i am streaming go follow me link down in the description below remember give this video a thumbs up if you want to help out <coughs> excuse me Subscribe, it really means the world to me. And I hope you guys have a great day. Keep on fighting. Until next time, everybody. Bye!